Hello, people of the outdoors. <laughs> what? <laughs> people of the outdoors, hello! I am on the cliffs in Sky, the Isle of Sky of Scotland. And before you all ask me what I'm taking with me on this hike, I thought I, I will just take a break and show you here. Let's not waste any time and let's just get into it. So up first, the stuff that is not in my backpack, but on me. It's basically the clothes that I'm wearing and what's in my fanny pack. So this trail I'm wearing Salomon boots. These are not boots. Boots slash trail runners. They're low shoes, but they have a more booty, <laughs> booty look to them. So they're more sturdy and they're Gore-Tex and for the wet terrain, <laughs> In Scotland, you need Gore-Tex, something Gore-Tex, I would say. I have two pairs of liner socks and two pairs of hiking socks. So one of each I'm wearing right now and the other ones are in my pack or voila, as now they're uh, drying on the outside of my pack. Then I'm just wearing a yoga legging, just easy, uh, easy stretchy material. I'm wearing a hiking shirt, just a quick drying fabric. I'm wearing a sports bra and I am wearing a hat right now because the universe is spoiling me with sun in Scotland. I got sunburned, can you imagine? <laughs> I love it. I'm also wearing a fanny pack. The fanny pack is from Kodopaxi. I've been loving it ever since I got it. All the colors, it's just the right size. The biggest thing that fits in here is a camera I'm filming with right now. It's the Sony A6400. I also attached a Rode microphone to it. And actually I will already say it, it's on a tripod and the tripod is on like one of the side pockets of my bag. So that's the stuff that you don't see right now. What else is in my fanny pack? Midges are not in my fanny pack. I have my passport, my non-expired passport. I have my wallet, which is basically just a Ziploc bag with bank account card, my house key, and some cash if you would need it. But actually on this trail, I haven't needed it. Got some lip balm. A friend of mine made this. It's an amazing lip balm. Voila. I've got some mints because sometimes sometimes it's nice to have that on the trail. I brush my teeth up, but just throughout the day, you know. I have two pens. If one would fail, I have the other one. I've got spare earphones for my iPhone to listen to music. I've got another lip balm, just another scent. <laughs> There's a lot of rubbish in here. Oh, this is not rubbish. This is the revelation of this trail. Nude deodorant. It's a clay that kills bacteria in your sweat and you just rub it on your armpits and you sweat but it doesn't stink. So right now after I'm gonna finish the trail today so after six days of hiking I can honestly say I don't smell like flowers but I don't stink. Incredible incredible so nude deodorant amazing a head net but this is a fail because the holes are too big for the midges here so i haven't really used it and then just some hair ties i have a big one if i want to make a big ponytail and i have small ones if i want to make braids <laughs> then lastly i have my sleeping earplugs and that is on the fanny pack let's move on then the big pack you cannot really see which pack is underneath all this stuff you will see it in a minute is i will already talk about it it's an atom pack i've loved them for years now this one they were so kind to give it to me i uh, wow. I have two packs from them now. I have an Adam Plus and this is a Nemo pack. It's slightly bigger, just a bit nicer if I'm doing a really big resupply of food. They've adjusted some features on the pack. I don't know if it's typical for the Nemo or it's just new stuff on their packs, but they have a Y strap now, which I love. They have a whistle now on a shoulder strap 
we love to see that as well they make it on the length of your spine so it fits perfectly it's super lightweight it's sturdy material i cannot recommend this brand enough it's a uk brand it's ran by real people Adam packs ladies and gentlemen okay so what's on the outside of the pack firstly i have my tent as always it's the zpax duplex tent i still love it it's super lightweight it is small as you can see it is fast in putting up and breaking it down in the morning i'm just really happy with it for the people in europe that have been asking me how i've bought this tent yes i have made the mistake of ordering it from America so I had the big import costs. I was younger and I didn't know <laughs> so it was a surprise at the post office. Then I have my fleece right now it's too hot but mostly I'll be wearing this. I'm actually gonna wear this now because it's getting a bit chilly sitting down. Now, So this is a Cotopaxi fleece it's not too thick it doesn't take up a lot of space it's warm it's cute it's a cute fleece i love it then i have my teva sandals i use these when i get to camp at night i use these when i want to swim it's nice to get out of the <laughs> the booty trail runners at the end of the day so sandals i just hang them at the outside of my pack then as i told you my spare pair of socks is on the outside. I have two water bottles. I would say two big bottles would have been better on this trail. But voila, I managed. Boom, boom. And then I have my hat. This is what I use when it's a bit colder. I also use it to sleep. Then I just use it as a blocker for the light. Oops, just like this. And you can sleep at night, so that's nice. Then on the mesh pocket, I carry sunscreen. Very much needed on this trail and actually every trail. I'm also carrying insect repellent. You need this in Scotland. And then I'm carrying two books. I'm carrying the Sky Trail Guide and I'm carrying just a journal to write in all my thoughts of the trail. This trail, there have been many. <laughs> That's why I'm carrying two pens as well. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking, but I had a lot of thoughts. Then I have this little pad. I use it for various reasons, um, mostly to sit on in the grass if I am taking a break. Voila, that's what I use it for. <laughs> I also use it for a bedside table and I also use it uh, as a windshield when it's very windy uh, and I want to cook. Then one already came out. This is something that somebody gave to me today. It's a wooden flower. He asked me what my favorite color was and I said it was purple and he gave me a purple flower. So that, that's in here, a nice souvenir. Then one steak already came out, but there's eight more. So I'm carrying nine steaks. I need eight steaks for the tent and then I just have one spare one. This belongs to my coffee grinder that's coming in a minute but it's a piece of the coffee grinder then an emergency blanket you never know you never know it would be nice to have if i fall a buff nice for the midges if they're crowding you at night and you have a head net whose holes are too big <laughs> you can wear this and you can like roll it up your face and it kind of works two spare ziploc bags always handy and that's it that's everything in the mesh pocket. Then the bottom pocket, as always, I keep three things there. Toilet paper, a toothbrush and toothpaste. The reason I keep it on the bottom of my pack or just the outside of my pack is because this is what I always need at the end of packing up my tent. So I pack everything up and then I will brush my teeth. Same with going to the toilet. I just want to have it reachable. So it's there in a Ziploc bag. And then in the bottom pocket, I also store rubbish. My trash, I keep down there. Meow. Meow. Voila. Almost on the inside of the pack, but first we have the shoulder straps. As always, Emil is joining. Emil is joining, Emil is loving it, Emil is here. I have my GPS, I use the Garmin InReach Mini. I've used it on two trails now and I love it. I think my mom loves it even more. 
And then on the other shoulder strap, I always carry my phone when it's not raining and my earphones to listen to music, to watch the map, to take pictures. Boobity boom, boom. I also have a little hip belt pocket and here I just keep my snacks for the day. So just some bars, cookies, whatever. Now we can get to the inside of the pack. Wow. Okay. Oh no, oh no. There's another pocket. There's this mesh pocket in which I keep the rain cover for my pack. Okay, the inside of the pack. So it has a roll top top. What's in here? So I have my power bank. It's a 20,100 milliampere power bank. It has all the cords as well that I use for all the equipment that I have and two uh, adapters for the wall. I've got my cooking pot, which is just a small metal potty thingy. Works well, it's lightweight. I love it. And in there, I keep a little bag with my stove, which is this thing. Hops. Two lighters, you never know if one breaks. And the filters for my Aeropress. That's coming up in a minute. The minute has arrived because this is my Aeropress. It's the system I use to make coffee. I just made a video about it, so you can go watch that. You might think it's too fancy and too heavy, and I can completely understand that. I just like good coffee on trail, and I found the system that works for me. So I carry the Aeropress, and I carry a grinder, and the handle was in my mesh pocket, so voila! This is the grinder. Then I have the beans for my coffee. They're on top of my pack because I usually make coffee at noon when I take my break. So I like to have them on top of my bag. Then a plastic pot with choco, chocolate spread. Oh, I cannot do this because then it falls out, but it's Nutella. Then I have a little ditty bag with electronics and lens solution products because it didn't fit in my other ditty bag. But this has, well, lens solution products, voila. This has my headlights, Petzl thingy. It has two spare lenses for my eyes. It has a spare memory card for my camera. It has a spare battery for my microphone. And it has a little first aid kit. So, kid, <laughs> kit. So this is uh, some earbuds, some painkillers, some blister plasters, and a little sewing kit. Then I have the other ditty bag, which is toiletries. So I'm carrying a hairbrush. I'm carrying biodegradable soap, a pot for my lenses, some scissors for my nails of my feet mostly, but also if I need to cut something or whatever. Lots of tampons because on the last trail I got my period unexpectedly and this is not happening to me now. Or when it happens, at least I'll be prepared. Then a little pot with some products for my hair to make it shiny. A tick remover, a small deodorant. I don't know why I'm carrying this because I have the nude thing and I, I haven't used it on this trail. Then a reparation cloth, multi-purpose. So tent or sleeping mattress or whatever. I have another lighter here. <laughs> so I'm carrying three. But uh, voila, if the other two get wet or whatever, I'm keeping one in a Ziploc bag. And then I have a sheet of plasters for injuries, small injuries. And two more hair ties. Well, this is a packing list of a girl or a guy. Guys can have long hair. Where are my long haired kings? I see you and I appreciate you. Then my water filter that broke, but normally I would have a water filter that's working, so a water filter. My rain jacket, this is one from Patagonia. We stand Patagonia because they are doing things for nature. There's other brands that do things for nature as well, but for la Patagonia. It's a nice design, colorful, I like it. And then suiting my rain jacket, I have my rain pants, which are just black. These are from Sprayway. I had them for years now. I repaired them once. They're starting to wear out, but they also still do quite a good job. Gloves, 
If it would get cold, I could use them. This trail, <laughs> I'm carrying a drone. I used it twice. I'm still a bit self-conscious about using a drone because the noise. I will cross the boundary. The next video, you will have some nice drone shots. But I have a drone. It's a DJI Mavic Mini and I keep it in a dry bag of Osprey. And then I have my towel. Just a little trekking towel. I use it to, of course, dry myself off if I go swimming or if I shower. I also use it to kill the midges in my tent. I just do this, boom! And then I like wipe down. They're slow, so you can really get them <laughs> with this. Let's, let's just do this. And I also use it to uh, wipe off condensation in my tent if that would happen. Uh, on this trail it hasn't happened, but on the peaks of the Balkans, most definitely it has happened. Then in my bag is a dry bag from Sea to Summit. It's a 50 liter dry bag and I just use this for all the stuff that I don't have to use during the day, that I'm using therefore at night, but that really need to stay dry. First up on top, I always have my mattress. This is the one from Thermarest, it's super warm. I will put all the specs in the description below. I put it on top in the dry bag so I can take this out first, roll it out, blow it up, put it in my tent and then drop my sleeping bag. Spoiler, there is a sleeping bag in here uh, and everything on this mattress. Spare underwear. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba -da. I'm, I'm wearing granny's underwear this trail. Yoohoo! And then I have my quilt and I've got a new one. I've got a European quilt. Yay! This one is from Heibag. Heibag? I think Heibag. It's a German company. They make great quilts. This one is the Light 450. If you don't know what a quilt is, it's basically a sleeping bag, but it doesn't go all the way around you. It's basically a blanket that you clip to your mattress, which means you can toss and turn during the night as much as you want. It's really lightweight, it's really warm and really handy and really all the reallys. I'm also carrying my sleeping bag liner that I bought on the trail in Norway. If you've watched that video, you know what's up. Ever since I bought it, I use it. I like it. It keeps my quilt dry and it just adds a couple of more degrees on the sleeping system. I have to say a Z-Pax tent is not the warmest. So if you want to have that tent, go for it, but make sure you have a warm sleeping system. I've got my sleeping pants. This is thermal underwear. It's from the brand Devolt. They are warm, they are clean at night. They're good. Same with a sleeping shirt. This is my sleeping shirt. It's also thermal underwear. It's an Icebreaker Merino 200. Then I have the spare liner socks. That's it for the dry bag. Now you can finally see it, haha. <laughs> this is the dry bag. Voila. And underneath the dry bag is the heaviest thing in my backpack, which is my food bag. So this is it. It's basically just a 12 liter dry bag from Osprey. It's carrying all my food. Food is heavy. You want to have it on the bottom of your pack. So in the morning, I take out the snacks that I need for that day and I put them in my hip belt pocket. And then the rest, I just stuff all the way to the bottom of my pack. And then lastly, I have my gas on the bottom of my pack. We're here. Oh no, I also have hiking poles. I hike with them and I set up my tent with them. This is everything I'm carrying on the trail right now. I wish you the most beautiful hike of your life up until this moment, because then the hikes have the opportunity to still get better after the one that you're gonna do now. Huh? Okay, I'm gonna call it a day and I'm gonna wish you a good hike and a good day and a good life and I'm gonna hike on. I'm gonna finish the trail in an hour. Okay, well, I'm happy and I'm sad, but you know, you know the feeling. Okay, bye.